Kiriogo presents Genius Insight Human Evolution. Have your parents ever told you you're not a monkey and to stop acting like one? Well, mom, dad, you're somewhat wrong. The fact is, according to genetic technology, modern humans, Homo sapiens, are a lot closer to primates than you may think. The modern humans and the great apes of Africa share some physical similarities. But genetically, we are incredibly close, like super duper close, like cousin level close. According to the research of paleoanthropologists, humans and great apes, which are considered gorillas, chimps, and bonobos, all shared a common ancestor from Africa that lived about 7 to 10 million years ago, give or take. But after what I can only assume was a very bitter breakup, primates divided into two branches. One included what we now define as modern humans, and the others consisted of the great apes. Science tells us that much of human evolution took place in Africa. Furthermore, scientists suggest that there were possibly between 15 and 20 different species of early humans, such as Neanderthals, Denisovans, and other Homo sapiens that all have gone extinct. The only species to remain from the early humans was our great, great, great times a millions of years ago grandparents, the Homo sapien. How did they arrive to your part of the world? Well, it seems our early ancestors had the travel bug. About two million years ago, some of them all got sick of what I can only assume was the early politics of Africa, or they simply had a wanderlust and walked their way to Asia. Those not keen on Asia moved to Europe, others bored with Europe went to Australia, and after a very tiring trek, some of our ancestors ended up in the Americas, only a mere 30,000 years or so ago. Anyway, only about 12,000 years ago, the first civilization emerged and agriculture began. Ah, oh, it seems like just yesterday. But as interesting as the Human Travel Journal reads, Bone remnants, carbon dating, and current DNA studies provide fascinating evidence to support these evolutionary findings. Scientists have discovered how genetically close apes are to humans using advanced technology. For example, gorillas share 96% of their DNA, bonobos 98.6, and chimps are our closest match, coming in at a whopping 98.8% match to humans. If those numbers seem jaw-dropping, let me drop another DNA bomb. Although ethnicity is real, current studies of DNA show that there is no such thing as different races of almost the 8 billion people on Earth today. When we look at the complete picture of genomes from all the people worldwide, our differences are minuscule, and I mean tiny, tiny fractions of differences. So what does that tell us? Evidence suggests that only one human species exists today called Homo sapiens. So what makes us different from animals or more specifically great apes? Is it that humans are bipedal, walk on two legs? Well, no, because great apes are quadrupeds, but they also engage in bipedal locomotion. But either way, there are other bipedal animals like the kangaroo. So is it that humans use tools? Nope, that's not it either, as lots of animals fashion tools from twigs, rocks, leaves, and other things. For example, crows have been known to leave nuts on the road, knowing that a car will run it over to crack it open. Maybe you think animals lack emotion and empathy. Well, that's not it either, as there are multiple documented cases where animals express empathy for others. Think about that cute Facebook post where you see a humpback whale save a seal from a killer whale, or the elephant who guarded a lost woman against a pack of hyenas, or feral children raised by wild animals. Yes, there are real life jungle book stories. But if none of those examples resonate, think of all the times you were sad and your dog or cat just sat with you. Now you're probably starting to run out of ideas, so I'm gonna help you out. It seems the concept of foresight is the Achilles heel of the animal's kingdom. Animals tend to lack the ability to predict and prepare for future possibilities. And as it turns out, chimps and children have the same inability to do this. However, by the age of four, kids start to develop enough cognitively to be able to forecast multiple outcomes. 
But there's another unique difference. According to a study by Georgia State University psychology researchers, they found that monkeys tend to be more willing to explore more efficient options for problem solving, suggesting that they actually exhibit more cognitive flexibility than humans. So when you look at all the data, it seems that humans aren't too far off the monkey scale. Both species fight for territory, have social hierarchies, nurture their young, groom themselves, make tools, use reward and punishment, communicate, show empathy, and can be even quite calculating. One researcher found that out when her monkey research subjects stole all her fruit she needed for her study. Bad monkey. And although I'm no monkey expert, I think that what makes humans unique is their ability to believe in the unknown. But with that said, we would never really know what makes us unique if we only studied humans. We need to ethically and morally study animals to understand what makes us who we are while also getting insight into what makes animals unique and special. So what does this have to do with child psychology? The long of the short is how we have evolved has shaped our minds and behaviors. This field of study is called evolutionary psychology. It suggests that evolution can explain everything from how we think, adapt, speak, what we fear, and even how we reproduce and continue to propagate the species. As humans, we have a lot of innate behaviors that are part of our evolution. But as you will learn in future episodes, these tendencies are often tempered by the input from culture, family, friends, food, and other individual factors. So now let's do a quick review. Humans and great apes, which are considered gorillas, chimps, and bonobos, all shared a common ancestor from Africa that lived about seven to 10 million years ago. Scientists have discovered that gorillas share 96% of their DNA, bonobos 98.6, and chimps are our closest match, coming in at a whopping 98.8% match. One big difference between humans and animals is that animals tend to lack the ability to predict and prepare for future possibilities. Researchers found that monkeys tend to be more willing to explore more efficient options for problem solving, suggesting that they exhibit more cognitive flexibility than humans. Evolutionary psychology suggests that evolution can explain everything from how we think, adapt, speak, fear, and even how we reproduce and continue to propagate the species. That's it for this episode of Genius Insight. Be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our Genius Insight. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time.